<clears throat> so what's up YouTube? Tonight we are not doing a podcast. We're doing something a little bit different. About to do a trailer, I guess, review, breakdown, whatever, of uh, <clears throat> X-Men Days of Future Past. And we're also going to be doing a breakdown of uh, the Hercules trailer. Whether it looks like a shit film or not. <laughs> For the record, I haven't seen the Hercules trailer yet. Have you, you seen it, right, Eric? Or no? I have. Alright. But... Let's see here. I'm about to. I'm gonna press play on my side. I'm gonna tell you when to pause. All right. All right. All right. So, I don't know if you guys knew, but I think this new X Men trailer is pretty fucking sick. Um. So let's let's start off pretty. Let me get the positioning of the. Get the right angle here. <clears throat> Okay, so go to, uh, uh, let's see here. Go to the first ten seconds. Like, ten seconds in. And pause. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so what the f- Like, when you were watching the trailer for the first time, and you saw this epic shot come up, what came to mind? Because, for me, this opening shot immediately- Lowered some of the hatred that I was feeling towards Brian Singer just a little bit. Um, yeah, that's definitely, uh, they're getting into the future there. Um, I mean, it's, it almost kind of looks like maybe a, a sentinel field. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe, uh, what the hell are the Sentinels? I mean, I love X-Men, but I never, like, knew specifically what the fuck they were. Um, they're basically just super huge, uh, machine robots that, uh, Trask created to help destroy the mutant population. Oh, shit. Yeah, it does seem like maybe, maybe it's the modern day, and it seems like the Sentinels have decided to fucking... Or have already, like, just raped the Earth. Um, yeah, that's what it looked like, because they just panned through the hole in that building. So there's definitely some carnage that has already happened at this point. So right now, I'm pressing play, seeing what other shots stuck out to me. Um, Alright, so uh, right now, go to about 20, 26 seconds in and pause. <coughs> Okay. All right. So, what do you think about Storm's look? And do you think she'll finally have a like a worthy role in the X Men cinematic world in this film or not? What do you think? Um, it, it's going to be interesting because there was rumors um, right before this trailer happened. Uh, that she was only going to have, like, one line in the whole movie. What? Uh, yeah, which was, I think, just all kind of bullshit. Um, I think the same way, like, rappers start beef with each other before an album drops, kind of build some hype about excitement of X-Men. Um, yeah. I personally, I don't like Storm's um, look. Right. I think it's mostly the hair, because Storm's either had really long hair or she's had the mohawk. She's never had this 1990s Zach Morris cut going on. Yeah, um, fuck. She's about, she's about to get twerked by that Sentinel. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really feeling her hair. I actually moved in time just a little bit, still on the same sequence with this... Is, it, is that Sentinel behind her? Yeah. Okay, I moved in time just, just a smidge... Where the Sentinel looks like it's about to be stabbing her in the back. And there's this character off to the left. Do you have any idea who that might be? Uh, looks like he might be like a black saber dude. <laughs> but I have no idea. I can't really tell. It's it's uh, a super dark image. Right, fuck. It it totally fades out to the 20th Century Fox logo after that. But um, Yeah. I don't know. I'm hoping that Storm... 
God damn it. I just, uh, there needs to be, every scene that she's in, I just hope that there's major focus on her. And the same for all characters. Like, I, one thing I loved about the Avengers is that I felt like every character had had their their screen time in a satisfying way. You know? Like, yeah. like sharing the load was done well. And I, yeah. hope, I hope that happens here. <laughs> Hopefully. My God. Yeah, I feel like Brian Singer had a hard time with that in the first two X-Men. Right. Like, he, he didn't really have a uh, a good balance of, of all the characters. And uh, Storm in X-Men 1 had some really horribly corny lines. So I hope that uh, that, that doesn't happen again. <laughs> yeah, um, same here. All right. So I've gone ahead in time here to one part of the trailer that really mind fucked me. All right, so I'm about 32 seconds in. Let me know when you get there. Uh, I don't see anything. Oh, okay. All the right. ships. Yep, so I'm going to be doing some frame stepping because this sequence goes by way too fast. But this seems to look like ships that carry the sentinels and that deploy the sent sentinels. That's what it appears to seem like. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting to. Um, I don't really remember that from the cartoons um, or the comic books, but that may just be something that I don't remember personally. Right. I don't know, but this was one of the sequences in the trailer where, like, my jaw dropped, and at the same time, it kind of felt like the CGI wasn't completely done. Maybe I'm wrong. It just felt like that when it was in motion. I don't know why, but... Yeah. Uh, um, other than that, I mean, it looks badass, Brian, you son of a bitch. Let's continue here. Um, what stands out? Got a cool shot of Colossus there. All right. Yeah, I'm super excited about that. <laughs> Colossus, you know, I hope they do Colossus right yeah, they didn't really use him too much in the first couple of films, which sucked because I thought the guy they picked was, was pretty good. Um, but he looks like he's about to go hella hard right here. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm, I'm about to get to one part. For the record, Colossus was one of my favorite toys and characters from X-Men. I thought he was dope as fuck. Let's see here. I'm trying to... Frame step slowly to this one part of the tra trailer that blew my mind. All right, about 40, 40 seconds in, there's this dude who, for lack of a better term, looks like he's about to become the Human Torch. Yeah, that sequence is badass. Who the fuck is that guy, anyway? I think his name is Pyro. Okay. If, if it's who I'm thinking of, um, and he was actually in. Oh, Pyro. Wasn't he that bitch-ass-looking emo kid from X-Men uh, 3 with Brett Ratner, or no? Was he in that movie? I think I can't, was. I can't remember if it was 2 or 3. Um, I remember he was outside of the house when that kid found out that his brother was a mutant. Yeah. And he was in that whole... Oh, when... Was it Iceman? God, the second movie was so forgettable. I know. I, I don't know why. Why? Fuck. Um, Either way, this character just looks legit badass, for real. Um, yeah. Josh Trank, take notes on Human Torch right here. <laughs> um, hold on, I, I want to... Let me step back in time. Okay, go to about 42 seconds in. Oh, Magneto. Alright, so what the fuck do you think is up with this environment? It came up a lot in the teaser trailer. It's sprinkled throughout this um, this trailer. It seems like this environment, this temple... What, what, what are your thoughts behind this? Is this kind of like a... Um, fuck, I don't even know how to refer to this environment. Maybe it's like a... Like a home base... In which they branch off to different time zones somehow, or what? What are your thoughts about this temple place? I don't know. Um, 
I, I, I'm not real sure what it looks like. Um, I mean, maybe some part of the Xavier School of the Gifted. Um. But it's just like, it's all destroyed because of the Sentinels. Maybe, but it just, I don't know, it feels so sacred though, you know? Yeah, it does look more like a, a temple or a church or something like that. Yeah, um, just got a awesome shot of familiar ship landing. Um, ah, yes. Um, okay, about, uh, let's go about 50 seconds in. Um, exactly 50 seconds. This is another image that seems to be standing out a lot from both trailers. This moment where Wolverine is laying down and someone, apparently a woman, is got her hands over his head and she's doing some shit. Um, thoughts on that? I'm trying to see if it doesn't look like, I thought maybe it was Kitty Pride. Right, but it doesn't really look like Ellen Page, and I don't think she had that type of ability. She was more just transparency and being able to walk through walls and stuff like that. Yeah, um, I don't know what I'm like frame stepping through um, this moment with uh, whatever the fuck's going on, Wolverine. I guess some some woman's trying to get him to remember something, but um, I don't know. It looks like Cerebro is in effect. Or maybe that's the effect of the two hands. Uh, Alright, let's press play and see what else we can get. Um, don't really care about people standing in hallways. Um, <laughs> fucking, oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, go about one minute and 11 seconds in. Okay. Alright, so I don't know if you can see this, YouTube. You, you, you should be able to see this, but it appears that Quicksilver in the background is, is wearing a Pink Floyd shirt. And one of the most bizarre jackets I think I've ever seen a character wear in the X-Men Cinematic Universe. Um, whoa, what the fuck? That just completely mindfucked me. Um, not only that, but there's a dude duck taped up? Yeah, taped, <laughs> taped up hell is in the background. So I guess that was Quicksilver moving hella quick and shit. Um, so what, do you, what, what are your thoughts about Quicksilver? You think he just looks gay and they probably ruined the character or what? He looks awful. <laughs> I mean, first of all, the look on his face, it looked like... <clears throat> Either Magneto or Xavier farted, and he's trying to deal with that smell. Um, but the goggles, the the long hair, um, the Pink Floyd shirt, oh, it's just, he looks just so bad. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really digging it, but let's cross our fingers, YouTube. Let's cross our fingers. I, I do love these two as, as young Eric and uh, Charles, though. Fantastic casting for those. Right? Yo, uh, one minute and 14 seconds in is a badass shot. Whoever thought that Michael Fassbender would be good as Magneto should, like, win a fucking award because that dude is, he's just, like, I don't know. He might be, like, the next Brad Pitt or something. Like, he really is impressing me, let me tell you. Yeah, he's, he's incredible. He was fantastic. Might have been one of my favorite parts of First Class. All right. Um, oh, this is going to be really fun to, to frame step through. But uh, about one minute and 17 seconds in, we got the the delicious Jennifer Lawrence. Apparently she was disguised as a maybe a general or something. <clears throat> uh, apparently General Sanders. I'm still I'm still on the fence about her as Mystique. I mean, listen, I think she's like one of my favorite actresses, but I, for me, the the lady who used to play Mystique, like when she when that lady was blue, to me that was the Mystique that I grew up with. Like that's exactly how I envision her from a physical point of view. And when Jennifer Lawrence is blue, it 
just a physicality just it doesn't entirely work for me as Mystique. But however, you know, she's still a great actress. It's just I don't know. I, that that's conflicted with me. Hell is the only thing I, I especially in the first one. I don't know if they'll change it in this one or not. Um, I, I don't. <laughs> Mind her as Mystique. I just didn't like the hair situation that they gave her. Yeah. Um, it was, I don't know if you remember those, uh, they had like those Duracell like plastic robots commercials back in the day. <laughs> just, I, feel, I feel like it's a Lego hair piece that just clicked onto the top of her head. I don't really care for that. Hopefully they fix that in this one because that was really weird for me in the first one. Yeah. Um, here, here's one moment that I geeked out in, in the, in my initial trailer review for this trailer, which was just literally me watching the trailer in real time and then ending the video seconds afterwards. Um, if you go about one minute and 20 seconds in, it appears that Mystique and Magneto are going to have a romantic moment, possibly. Uh -huh. That's unexpected. I don't even know how the hell that could happen, but hey, I am interested. Let's see here. Oh my God! Hold up. Let me let me go back. Cause this part of the trailer gave me goosebumps. Um, let's see here. Where should I stop this? I'll stop it. Okay, about one minute and twenty-four seconds in. I'm gonna be frame stepping, but this moment where Magneto looks like he just went through a hell of an emotional moment, decides to fling like four soldiers just through the air like it's nothing. Man, what the fuck? That part yeah, I, I think uh, I've seen some production stills, and I think this point before Beast has got him underwater, um, and I think it looks like. He was underwater in some sort of struggle, and he I guess he came out, and he's like, get out of my way, bitches. I got to find Beast. <laughs> yeah, and cars are levitating, and Xavier's fucking... I got a shot of Xavier fucking screaming hellas, looking like John Lennon or some shit. Yeah. So something serious is going down. Let me know when you get to 129. 129? What? What's him holding the balls? <laughs> no. Uh... Oh, wait. Are you talking about, like, 131 with this giant-ass signal? No. It's, it's like, 128 going into 129. Trask, the little guy with the glasses. <clears throat> the... The little man? Yeah. That's the guy that creates the sentinels. <laughs> oh. Uh, I didn't want to call him a midget. I'm trying to be respectable around this bitch. But, uh, yeah, I saw him in there. He made the Sentinels? Yeah, that's that's Trask. That's the guy that created the, uh, the Sentinels. Um, also, he is fantastic in Game of Thrones. Yeah, I still gotta catch up, YouTube. I'm, uh, I apologize. But this giant, the back of this giant Sentinel at 131. Whew. Um, yeah, that's pretty, uh... I was really worried about how the Sentinels were going to look. Yeah. Um, they don't look too much like the cartoons, but that's okay because they're still super huge and they, they he is getting the general gist of of the Sentinel. So yeah, it sounds like man, Brian, please don't fuck this up, Brian. I'll kill you. Um, one minute and thirty seven seconds in. Who the hell are we looking at? That is a good question. That's um, that's one chick that during the trailer, like I kind of arched an eyebrow. I was like, oh, who is that? I don't know. Um, if anyone does know watching the video, let us know down below because I am just not geeky enough to immediately know who that is off the top of my head. Yeah, actually, while you're uh, while you're finding your next stop spot, let me see what I can find. Days of Future Pass. Man. At first, I thought it was um, Psylocke, but it is, I don't think that it's, I don't think it's Psylocke. I don't know. I need to pull out my magical uh, smart, um, smartphone. <clears throat> pass. Let me find. 
Yo, man, why didn't we, uh, start doing these trailer reviews earlier? This shit's kind of fun. Uh, I don't know, because <laughs> you hate me. <laughs> Maybe. Um, Blink. She's the character Blink. Blink? Mm-hmm. Her fucking name's Blink. <clears throat> Um, while I'm looking that up, go to, fucking hell, 1 minute and 38 seconds. This is going to be really fun to freeze frame through. Now, that black dude that was Bishop. talking. Bishop? Uh-huh. Oh, well, he's for sure the same black dude who was standing next to Storm at the beginning of this video when we were talking. 100%, he has to be. Okay. But it looks like, sense. looks like him and Kitty are running through... A warehouse, uh -huh. and he is holding one hell of a badass looking gun, man. Yeah, I uh, I'm not a fan of how Bishop looks, to be honest with you. Um, he is, first of all, he's too black. Um, <laughs> he's too black. <laughs> yeah, Bishop. Bishop to me was always more of the rocks color. Um, right. And he had more of a of a jerry curl type hairdo versus the dreads that this guy's rocking um and uh he has a cape by the way i don't know if the character had a cape but i, I don't ever remember at least not in the cartoons growing up i don't remember bishop having a cape but i guess we'll see what happens right now i'm freeze framing through uh wolverine fucking stabbing the shit out of somebody yeah he's getting ready to mess his whole right side up um, and right now I am about one minute and 39 seconds in. Um, looks like we're looking at the Sentinel Deployers, I'm assuming. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. Which, I mean, fuck, I'm down for it. What the fuck? That shit looks yeah. cool as fuck. Yeah, dropping all those Sentinels. Yeah, this shit's supposed to be in 3D too, man. My God. Oh. I'll pass. Oh, you're tripping, man. Uh, 143, hopefully, is part of uh, what we'll get to see was a storm reincarnation, sort of. Yeah, please. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm with you on the, the haircut. I'm not exactly digging it, but just give her... Just make her badass, please. Pass. Um, I don't know if... Magneto is dying at 143 or what's going on but looks like a dead serious conversation is going on and I doubt that he's sleepy so <laughs> yeah I doubt it <laughs> no. maybe talk it looks like he's talking to Charles right um is there any other spots I want to slow down and see Oh my god, this is a fucking moment from the trailer. Ah, stop. Stop playing, you fuck. Hold up. Let me go back. Ah. ah, what the fuck? This part won't fucking... Hold on a second, YouTube. Technology's not being kind. This is one part from the trailer that was boss as fuck. If I can get to it. Hold on. Alright, finally, fuck. One minute and 51 seconds in. This moment right here was Magneto. Looks incredible. Right? What the hell? This was definitely a money shot. I wonder if this is in the the stadium? Maybe not. It looks like it might be. Um, unless he's still outside that parliament looking building, whatever the fuck it was. But that part was just dope as fuck. Um, what else do we got here? What the hell? I didn't notice this part in the tra trailer at all. Let's see here. Um, skip ahead. Another storm shot at two minutes. 
Yup. You got Havoc destroying somebody at 201. That's exactly what I was just about to go to. Fuck. It pisses me off. <laughs> However, at 2 minutes and 8 seconds, so this was also a nice money shot with Iceman. Yes. For sure. That shit was dope. Uh, yeah, it's nice to finally see him utilized properly. Yeah, for once, hopefully. There's Pyro again at 209. Yeah, looking all kinds of badass. Yeah, looking like he uh, looked like he was uh, trying to heat up Colossus. Nah, he's for sure roasting a Sentinel, one hundred percent. Are you sure? That looks like Colossus. I I think that was a Sentinel. I'm pretty sure. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. But right now, Magneto is like destroying that stadium, <laughs> wrecking the hell out of that bitch. Um, I do feel like, however, these storm shots are a lot of the same, like, might be a lot of the same sequence. Yeah, that has me kind of worried, but once again, I guess we'll, we'll see. Um, looks like the White House just, like, imploded, <laughs> and, whoa, hold up. And Colossus is getting ready to, uh, do some work, is that where you're at? Yeah, fucking... This bitch would pause, which is not letting me pause, but whatever. That part looks dope as fuck. Hold on. I want to get a better look at this Colossus fist throw. That shit look cool. Ah, bitch. Fuck my life. All right. What do you think of the final look at that Sentinel, by the way? This one? After Colossus throws his mean-ass <clears throat> left hand, which is super dope. Yeah, he's, uh, looks like he's getting ready to bring down some fury on, uh, Charles <laughs> Xavier. Yeah, uh, this is a really interesting design, uh, perspective to take. For the Sentinels, I'm I don't know what to really think about it, except it's sufficient for me at the current moment. I mean, personally, I always thought that the Sentinels were like a fuck ton bigger, but all right, still looks cool though. Yeah, at least they're actually giving us uh, Sentinels instead of some training simulation. <laughs> yeah, that was so incredibly. Incredibly gay. Um, and this, this final sequence between both Xavier's, I really hope that's not cheesy. I hope that's like a straight dope-ass moment, you know? Yeah, I, I feel like it's going to be. Like, kind of thing that gives you chills and whatnot. And yeah, that is uh, the most recent trailer to the uh, next X-Men film, May 23rd. So what do you think, man? Is this going to be the X-Men film we've all been waiting for? Or is it going to be a colossal mess? Um, it, it definitely has me curious to see it after this second trailer. Um, but again, Brian Singer's still attached. There's some parts of it that look way better than his previous X-Men films. But yeah. he's just got a lot going on, and that worries me. Because he can't control... <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of characters in one film. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Only thing I can say is, fingers crossed, YouTube. That's the best I got. The trailer looks awesome. Um, but, uh, I just hope they don't drop the ball on this. Because if he drops the ball, he's the same man who's making X-Men Apocalypse, folks. Which should be like, like orgasm inducing alright so I hope he fucking doesn't fumble the ball on this one because that you know that really surprises me from Fox Fox's perspective to sign him on before they know what the success of yeah. Days of Future Past is going to be yeah so hopefully it's because what they saw from Days of Future Past looked amazing but um, we're about to do the, uh, Hercules, um, 
trailer review next. So stay tuned for that, motherfuckers. <laughs> Alright, we're out.